<laughs> Scott, thank you very much. Veterinarians are warning pet owners now of the dangers associated with all of this extreme cold that we're talking about. Earlier today, I visited with a veterinarian who is reminding us all not to forget about our furry pals as we prep for the bitter blast. This is Tucker. He is a five year old neutered male. Tucker uh, loves dog. being spoiled and well taken care of. Lucky for him, his human is Arlington yeah. veterinarian Dr. Lynn Logan of the Corner Vet. She's sharing some tips to caring for your pets in these low temperatures, and most of it, she says, is common sense. If you're outside and you're uncomfortable for any length of time, your animal's probably going to feel the same way. She's hoping all owners are thinking of their pets as we prepare for freezing conditions. A lot of people make the mistake and think, well, they've got lots of hair, so they're right. going to be fine. Um, but in reality, if they're out there for very long, and particularly if they're not protected from wind, that can be really a problem. Dr. Logan says despite their coats, pets that aren't used to the outdoor conditions can have a hard time with the cold and become ill quickly. There are a couple of signs to look out for. An animal that's acting lethargic or shivering that would be cause for concern. Overexposure to the elements, she says, can lead to devastating problems. Frostbite on the ears, on the paws, tips of the tail, those places where there's not much soft tissue and they, they can get very cold very fast. The best bet is to bring your pets inside or keep them in a warm enough sheltered place. And if you have to take them outside, <laughs> don't overdo it. Short walk, 15, 20 minutes. Um, some of them might want to wear a coat, especially if they're, um, if they're thinner. Well, Dr. Logan says even for pets that are acclimated, most can only tolerate temperatures in the 30s for only a few hours. So keep that in mind. Today